Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Silver's breakdown to new lows. Silver is falling apart. Let's explore. <laughs> That's a pretty strong title, but you know, when you think about it, it was just a few months ago when we thought, well, we were heading towards $30 an ounce, and I actually thought we may see it dip a bit into the summer, but not by this much. I wasn't anticipating it really going much below $25. Well, as of the recording of this video, it is well below $25, $24.81 as the Asian markets are open up right now, but it was uh, as low as $24.77, down two percentage points. It's a pretty big drop, 50 cent drop in the silver price. Uh, that's a breakdown, folks. And, um, and we've been seeing the price of silver dip. In fact, all the precious metals fell, save for gold. The gold to silver ratio is now at uh, almost 73 to one. Uh, these are numbers that we haven't seen in quite some time. You know, I do remember in March of last year when we had that crazy sell-off where the gold to silver ratio was over 125 to 1. Uh, so we're not there yet, but we are in breakdown territory. And there's an article from the FX Empire that talks about it from a technical standpoint and how this could happen. Um, this is to this new low which is a sign, a suggestion that there could be further losses ahead. Uh, if, if that's going to be the case, then we need to prepare for a move to the low 24s and perhaps a further drop into the $20 level. Now that is something that seems out of the realm of possibility for most of us, including me. I don't think we're going to get there. I think there is a pretty significant resistance around the $20 level. But hey, I could be wrong too. I mean, after all, I'm still sticking with my prediction of $30 silver by the end of the year, somewhere between 30 to 35. Although I'm leaning more towards the $30 level as these prices continue to see this breakdown. Now we have to understand that silver is influenced by the industrial demand. And uh, I think most of us would agree by the numbers, no matter what numbers we read, that there is going to be slightly more demand than there is the physical to back it up for the industrial side and, and, and what have you. What does that mean? I think it just means that they can't produce it fast enough in order to uh, satisfy the immediate demand, which means that some of these items may not come to fruition as fast but silver is being mined there's new discoveries there's uh, unexpected uh, mining that happens as a byproduct of other metals lead copper zinc gold nickel that type of thing so we have to take that into account this demand uh, will have the attention of traders in general and when we see trade being open as a huge part of the narrative now that is what is going to be pulling this price maybe upward. So the eagle won't be looking down. Who knows? That eagle very well could be looking up. The thing is, in this coin, uh, you've got to literally turn the eagle this way to have him looking up, where he's literally flying upside down almost for him to be looking up. And... The world is upside down right now, so it's kind of apropos, I would think, for this for this milky silver eagle that we've got here. Um, all of these have milk spots, but I digress. Um, so you have that pull. Then you've got the other side, and that is the dollar. If the dollar starts to strengthen, or then that kind of blows the whole narrative that could continue to weigh upon this market. So you have the push and pull of demand versus the dollar strength, the dollar index. So when you have those things play out and push and pull on each other, those are the biggest drivers, that and the bond yields, um, of what's going to be happening with the, with the, with the prices um, as this plays out. 
So keep that in mind that those natural market forces are going to be very powerful drivers as we head into uh, the latter part of the summer here. We are in the hot part of the summer. We're in the midst of the summer months. And that weighs in on things. That, that humidity just weighs down on these markets, so to speak. Unless you live in Arizona or in the desert regions. Nonetheless, the overwhelming heat of the markets and what's happening here are having their way with silver prices right now. And so it's to be understood and to be expected. And all we can do is just uh, uh, take a step back and watch, see what happens with premiums. Some of the premiums are going down now. This could mean potentially that there is going to be further demand from the investment side. I don't like to call it investment, but uh, you know what I mean, hedging. Uh, those of us who buy at the stack for bars, rounds, and coins which means there could be another squeeze, but maybe this squeeze will be uh, with a little different purpose to try to take advantage of the lower prices uh, to stack up. Uh, but then that could cause premiums to go up as well. So there's, a, there's that push and pull on prices we have to take into account as well. But nonetheless, either way, we shan't be discouraged by this price movement. At $24.81 right now, um, it's considered a bargain, and I have a feeling that that is probably going to be on the lower end of the spectrum. Although, if we see it fall apart, if we do see it go down to $20 an ounce, we'll see a further breakup of these silver market prices. And uh, maybe some people will lose confidence. Maybe some of the silver squeezers will give up and move out. And uh, if they do that, then that means it's going to be much less demand for the physical bullion, and we may see another area of doldrums like we saw in the late teens um in other words from 2015 to 2019 uh this the silver market was a little bit kind of lackluster not a lot of activity not a lot of action you know people were kind of getting into it but it was a growing community here but not like leaps and bounds like we've seen it and a lot of that has come over from the reddit from the reddit side um uh, from the wall street silver crowd um but we'll see it's 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 it is one thing it, these markets are pretty wild to watch pretty interesting to see where things are going um and so but we have to pay attention we have to see what's going on uh i think it's good to do that um, but keep in mind the fundamentals outstretch and survive whatever happens in the market from day to day week to week or even year to year because it's a long-term proposition. Um, and the only way you will lose is if you have to sell or get frustrated and want to sell at a loss. Um, likely, if you hold on to your silver and utilize smart dollar cost averaging, you will break even uh, at the very best um, or at the very worst. And that's why I don't like to look at silver as an investment. Um, I like to look at it as a savings vehicle. Now, uh, in terms of it being an investment, it is an investment in your future, in your future of wealth preservation, for sure, uh, but not in the, tr in the financial sense and the fact that silver doesn't pay dividends. Um, you do hold some uh, not counterparty risk. There's no counterparty risk, but there is a price discovery risk. In other words, getting the price discovery out of it is when you are able to see it uh, return to its value adjusted for inflation, uh, swallowing up any premiums you may have paid for in the process. And when you see, realize that, then you're seeing pr true price discovery and you've mitigated that risk. But if the higher premiums you pay for your silver, uh, the much longer that's going to take. Um, and as for me, as someone who collects as well as stacks, in fact, I do much more collecting than I do stacking. Uh, really, this advice is for other people. For me, I understand the risk I take for the joy of collecting. And that is something that I have always um, uh, held true and true fast. So for me to make a purchase and pay a premium may not hurt as some of these hardcore stackers out there. But nonetheless, there it is. The silver markets are kind of falling apart a little bit here. 
Uh, but hey, hold on. Hold on tightly and hold on loosely. Go ahead and hold on tightly to your silver and hold on loosely to all of the uh, drama out there as far as the prices and the markets and what they're saying. Because anything can turn around. Uh, silver, may, silver may be falling apart today, but as I record this video, silver is up a nickel from where it dropped over, uh, where it dropped 50 cents. So we could see a fairly quick recovery, but it is under 25, which is a breakdown in my view. So we'll see how it plays out. But I thought I'd share this uh, video uh, as this news had come across. You know, I really wasn't paying that much attention. It was a pretty busy day for me, so um, I had to and pay attention to other things and had an already a video planned earlier so that's why this is being released now i hope you will check out the other videos i've posted before i've posted a few and let me know what your thoughts are there and on this video and i'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and also encourage you not just saying it as a closing statement but i really do hope that you will consider to rate this video to thumb it up it does help the algorithm, and I need all the help I can get these days in that area. Uh, share it. It does help when you share the videos across other social media platforms. If you could do that, that would be great. Uh, comment on this video to let me know you're here or to add some algorithm food. And subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be apprised of the latest video that makes its way across your device. Again, a multitude of gratitude to you all.